Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and welcome to episode two of the Faster XP 2012 series, which will debut a new episode every Monday at around 10 a.m. Eastern. In this video, we're going to talk about disabling Windows XP startup items. Now, the XP startup items, for those of you who don't know, are those little programs in the bottom right corner that uh, just decide to randomly add themselves to your startup, which, of course, extends the time your computer takes to boot up. It also uses up resources in the background while they're running. Uh, we're going to cover my favorite way to do it, which is with a freeware app. Of course, there's a number of different ways you can do this. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first thing you're going to want to do is we're going to get the freeware piece of software. Now, you can just Google it. It's called Glary Utilities, or you can go to my website and get it. i got tons of free downloads. That's at pcmtechhelp.com. And uh, go ahead and press enter. Once the website comes up, there's this free download section. Now, I do have a drop down here, uh, so you can just go straight to it. It's under System Tuning and Glary Utilities. I mean, that's one of the quickest ways to do it. But if you just select free downloads, you can see all of the free downloads I have available. I have, I have a whole bunch of them, and I'm constantly adding new ones all the time. But you can come down here to System Tuning and just go ahead and select CCleaner. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong one. Select Glary Utilities. And then we're going to select the download section. And we're going to actually, at that point, click to download it. Now, for those of you who don't know why I'm using Internet Explorer, it's because I'm actually using a fresh installation of Windows XP for this whole series. So that way it's got an isolated uh, you know, environment for us to work with. And later on, we're going to talk about browsers. So... Once it's booted up, just click Run, and then we're going to select Next. Of course, I have to tell you, read the licensing agreement and accept the agreement if you accept the terms. This is free for personal use. Now, here's the tricky part. This kind of tries to slip in these toolbars and default searches. Now, you don't have to install those. That's up to you. If you want to install it, go ahead, but you don't have to. Just go ahead and click Next, 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 and sure, Install. And so now we're going to actually fully install the software, and we're going to launch it. Now, Glary Utilities is a full suite of system maintenance and optimization. As you can see, it's got a one-click maintenance option. I'm not big on, uh, well, I mean, the one-click maintenance is nice, but what I, what I don't like is that people don't appreciate everything Glary Utilities has to offer. What we're interested in is in the modules section. And when you select modules on the left-hand side, you have this category called optimize and improve, and then you have startup manager. A lot of people don't know about this cool little feature. Now what will happen is, is, as you can see, it will come up with a list of programs. Since I have a brand new installation here, there's not a ton of them. But uh, you get a little rating next to it. What I like to do is sort by rating, and then anything that has a little bit of red in it, maybe like 20% red, psh, we don't need it. It's that simple. I mean, what the reason you don't need these things on startup and the reason they do start on startup is because they like to store themselves in memory so that the next time you open them, they open quicker. So it sounds good in theory until you've got like 40 items constantly stored in memory waiting for you to open them. I would much rather them not bother trying to be uh, loaded in memory until I call the program. I mean, there's how many situations is there where you Adobe open, open Adobe Reader every time, you know? Now, for the situation where you might not have a rating, which it does happen with this software, you have a path here, and you might need to drag this thing to the left or right, uh, the little, what is it, a column. And then you uh, want to look at this VBox tray or the dot .executable. So there's an executable file that's running on startup. And then there's a trick to this. Just go to your browser again, open up a new tab, google.com, and let's do ctfmon.exe ctfmon.exe. Just Google the executable file name. And then you'll notice the second one here is, what is it? Or the third one is, what is? I like how to geek. We'll choose that one. And why is it running? And uh, you can do a little bit of research here. And um, if you scroll down, it says, ctfmon is a Microsoft process that controls alternate user input and the office language bar. It's known, it's how you can control the computer via speech or a pen tablet or using the on-screen keyboard inputs for Asian languages. How many of you use that? Really? I want to know. So that's how you do that. Just do a nice little search, find out whether or not you need it, and if you don't need it, just disable it. And it's, it's really that easy. I mean, at that point, then you've done your startup, you've unchecked all the boxes, and then you can just close it, and the next time you reboot your computer, those aren't going to load anymore. You may be surprised at the amount of boost you get from this particular tip. 
As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings. My name is Craig Chamberlain. This is the PCM Tech Help Show. Don't forget to tune in next Monday when we're going to talk about another tip for the Faster XP 2012 series. Now remember, we're not limited only to Faster XP. We're going to be debuting additional video, other video series. Is this series? Is this is the second time I've done this? series another series at some point in the future but every monday at 10 a.m is reserved for the faster xp 2012 again you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on twitter which i might disturb you because i am myself you can also follow us on uh, youtube don't forget to subscribe and uh, stay tuned there's plenty more videos to come 60 in this series i believe